You've simply chosen not yet to take out of the freezer and thaw out and spend today, but you're keeping in the freezer for the future. Anything you take out of, out of the freezer, anything that's packaged has some kind of preservative in it. And we don't spend enough time cooking fresh foods for our kids. And not only that, you only take out of the freezer what you're going to use, what you're going to eat. I have here one pound of fresh mozzarella that I put in the freezer for 15 minutes before thinly slicing, five eggs, three cups of whole milk, one teaspoon kosher salt, one teaspoon oregano, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, two ounces of finely grated Parmesan, and a dozen black olives thinly sliced. You can make about a dozen stubbies in five minutes or so to put in the freezer and have them on demand as you need them. <laughs> Anything that you want to keep super cold, you put in the freezer. For example, you ask your partner to load the dishwasher because you're about to take a work call. And after said call, you go to unload the dishwasher only to find that it hadn't been turned on because you only told them to load it or there's no dishwasher tablet in there because they didn't know where to find them. I used to load the dishwasher, empty the dishwasher, you know, make my bed, whatever it is, that's something I had to do. Do you have a dishwasher? You're pretty lucky. You can load the dishwasher. You can load the dishwasher, and when it's done, you can unload the dishwasher. Unload the dishwasher. The dishwasher sterilizes the dishes. The dishwasher sterilizes the dishes. Uh, there is a chore I do at my house where uh, I empty the dishwasher. I mindfully empty the dishwasher, wash the dishes, clean the kitchen a bit, and make my morning cup of offie with the AeroPress. Or things like, please empty the dishwasher. Please pick up your pants off the floor. Maybe for you, having the plastic shower curtain that you can take down and, I don't know, put in the washing machine is easier. If it's super washed, you could even like put it in the washing machine in the dryer. So all I've done is put my jacket in the washing machine on the normal cycle with some of that liquid detergent, and it should be as easy as that. I will, but can you do the laundry? The washing machine is empty, so we'll be able to wash the pillowcases, the sheets, and the comforter. Now we can begin to cook or perform a quick workspace sanitation, cover with plastic wrap, put in the fridge, and cook tomorrow when everything's ready to dump and go. Now I'm using that all-important brown whole grain rice, which I've pre-cooked and put in the fridge. It shouldn't matter what you put in the fridge, it should just do it. And then you have about four to five cups of almond milk and that will keep in the fridge for a few days. And this you can keep in the fridge in a jar and sprinkle over your salads, your grains, your soups. It makes everything taste better. Yeah, if you're in a pinch, it's, it's good to have one around. It'll yeah. keep in the fridge for a month. Now we'll cover these and let them chill in the fridge while we prepare our matcha ice cream filling. I always love making deviled eggs because first of all, they can chill in the fridge. We're gonna let that chill in the fridge before we lengthen it into the full size tail. You could cut a slice of bread and put it in the toaster and the bread will have some brown marks on it and it will be warm and toasty. You can You can take a slice of bread, put it in the toaster, believe it or not, toaster. Take a raw piece of garlic and just rub it over the toasted bread and you're going to have a garlic bread and it's going to be phenomenal.